What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only, so let's be entertained. What I wanted to look at today was just a brief recap of my thoughts for what I think we're going to see play out this week and a couple of things to be mindful for as Thursday and Friday play out. If that sounds like something you're interested in, hit the like button while you're thinking about it and I will get into the information. I'll make this a brief video because I feel like the more time I take in a video, the more I should offer you guys. Really, there's just a couple of points that I want to focus on for this week, for the immediate future, and then I have my sights set a little bit higher for next week. So, what I'm looking at today, obviously we're still in this down channel, guys. We have not broke out. You got that little pump. It brought a little bit of joy, a little bit of satisfaction back into it to see a little bit of positive movement, but really we were falling out of that channel. So it got sucked back up. I want you to be mindful tomorrow if you're looking at it. 775, 750. So 750 to 775, we still have not broke out of this downtrend. Don't get too excited till that happens. Going into Friday, we're at seven to seven and a quarter. So we need to see that strong breakout get up and out of this down channel we've been in. If you caught my video yesterday, you saw that I was talking about the options chain. I think it's still very viable. I think it has a lot of weight, and I think that it's important that we consider what is out there on the put side and then looking at those call options that are out there for a couple of weeks away. So on the put side, I'm saying this week, they really probably want to keep us between $5 and $7. And if we don't see this run in an upward trajectory so far away from that 7 I think that's how it's going to play out. So best case scenario, we just can consolidate, hold our own between $5 and $7 for the remainder of this week, in my opinion. That would allow them to get these puts off of the table be able to not have to worry about that pressure and then we'll go with the call side hopefully that is stacked up for a couple of weeks out but they don't have to wait that long they can cash in on these puts then next week take the call money so let's see if that happens if they get it down low enough are they ready to cover are they ready to run that money and take it back into the call side we don't know, but as always, risky play, guys. We don't know if the news is going to come out, when it's going to come out, what's going to happen. It's just day by day, tick by tick. Protect your accounts. Always have a stop loss or a trading plan in place. You can always jump back into a play if you see it moving. We haven't seen anything move so fast that you would not be able to get your hands on it if you wanted to. So just be careful and watch for those levels five dollars to seven dollars remember the breakout somewhere between seven dollars to 775 really to get out of this down channel thank you for coming back guys i've been trying to make a little bit of changes to make the videos just a little bit more appealing i'll work on some sound dampening and everything just to tighten everything up a little bit as time goes on i appreciate all of you coming back here day after day just enjoying the videos smash the like button if you don't mind please subscribe if you will and as always people stay golden and may your accounts stay green